say, but it's so key that people have a platform these days. Publishers want to know how are you going to reach your audience. Okay, so let's be specific here. What okay. numbers are we talking about? Like how many Facebook likes? How many Twitter likes? Uh, well, followers? It's, it's hard to say because it depends on the category. Mm -hmm. But I find, for example, at McGraw-Hill, if I'm selling a business book there, they want people to have 40,000 names, that kind of threshold, whether it's a newsletter or... Anywhere. So it could be yes. email or it could be followers or exactly. it could be likes. 40,000, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's yeah. one example. Okay. But I have um, a young blogger and she has 700,000 people following her. So wow. the publisher was... What's she blogging about? She's blogging about gluten-free cooking. So she's got a huge community, a huge following. Wow, that is now huge. the challenge for her is going to be what can she say new that she hasn't sort of given away on her blog. But what I tell my clients to do hmm. on a marketing page is to bullet every single tangible thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm part of this group. Yeah. I gave this speech last week to 200 people. Mm -hmm. My Facebook is growing by 10% a year. You know, concrete, concrete things. Growing, mm -hmm. legitimate. Mm -hmm. How much should an author expect to budget over, say, a year to get some of these numbers? I mean, how to get to face 10,000 Facebook likes or? It's hard to say, but I suggest that, it, truthfully, it's a 10-year program. Okay that start today and work on it and build it if this is the work you want to do. Mm -hmm. Every day work at it, build it. There's no magic switch on the back of your computer. There's no <laughs> service you can buy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, you got to <laughs> You have to do the hard work. <laughs> and I would say that just keep at it every day. Yeah. And it will come.